I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. And, I, and I'm gonna tell you something. When, when I first saw, I'm gonna start with the branding of our Overwatch team first because I am a little bit of a hater at times in, in, when it comes to certain branding. I'm very critical of, of, of people who just don't try to do stuff the right way. Um, and when, when we always conceptualize different ways to modify the Optic logo or to move Optic Gaming to create something like a sub-brand next to it, we create a third label, as you guys have seen the jackets, it's like the OG logo inside the triangle. You don't understand how many iterations of that sort of branding I had to go through before deciding on you know, Optic inside the triangle. Um, when I saw the logo for the Houston Outlaws, I could not tell you the, the sort of passion that I immediately had for this logo. Um, it, it, it took me back to my graffiti days and, and I guess that has to do with design and stuff, but immediately I saw it and I connected with it because it was so well designed. It, it, it sent a message um, and, and it touched home with me, right, with the optic colors. Um, we wanted to make sure that, that we created something that, that, that was like Texas centric. Uh, because we're representing, you know, the you know Houston alongside San Antonio and Austin, so we we wanted to do something Texas uh, related, and and the Texas Longhorn is like an iconic, like it's it's a Texas thing, right? It's a Texas thing. So when when I saw that and I saw that it was the two revolvers put together, I I, I thought to myself, I'm like, this is genius. It's gonna look amazing on a T-shirt. That was the first thing I thought about. I'm like, that's gonna look amazing on a T-shirt. So when, uh, when, when we got done with the introduction, and as you guys saw just now the intro on it, I mean, it was, it, it, everything fell into place so good for us that, that I almost feel that, almost feel the need to say thank you to the higher force because it, it, the timing couldn't have been more perfect. The way that everything has, has lined up for, for, for me personally and for Optic as a whole in the last like month, it's just, uh, it, it's, it's been, it's been, it's been awakening in, in, in a sense, you know, I, I felt uh, I felt excited at first, but it wasn't until I saw that logo that I truly fell in love with the process. And when I'm passionate about something, when I'm truly passionate about whatever it is that I'm working on, I, I, I give it my all. You know, I, I, I tend to give it my all, period, but when it comes to something that I really care about, I really, really give it my all. And I make sure that every single detail of every single decision that's made makes sense. And, uh, and it's gonna be no different uh, than it was with Optic with the Houston Outlaws. The Overwatch team has 10 players on the squad, which is phenomenal for me, right? I, I appreciate the fact that some people are more qualified to do a certain job than others aren't. And this is what's cool about this, this specific process. Um, you know, up until this point, esports has been has been a certain way, right? It sort of reinvents itself as, as we go along, but it's been very, very monotone, very uniform. And the fact that we get to have uh, some some you know regionality to to uh, to, to esports, the fact that we get to um, formalize a little bit more what true franchise looks like, I think that it's going to be a, a good ride for me. It's going to be a learning experience, which is super fun for me. It's going to be a it's going to be super engaging for me to try to figure out how do we make this work. How can we replicate what we did with Optic with the Houston Outlaws? Throughout this whole process, I I I, I try to do what I've learned in the past seven years between player relations to esports as a business to the overall picture and how it all fits together. Uh, so when I met the guys, I, I always make sure that they understand that I am not your typical CEO, okay? I'm gonna wear a hat, I'm gonna wear a jacket, and I'm not gonna be serious. But, but as such, it, it also, it also adds to a little bit more uh, comfort when it comes to the player relations. Um, I, I've met players uh, recently who says, you know, I've, this is the first time I'm talking to a CEO. And that's weird to me in esports. I understand if you're a professional player and you've never met, you know, if, if you're a Cowboys player and you never met Jerry Jones. I get that, even though Jerry Jones is the general manager, so I guess it doesn't apply. Uh, but I, I, I get that. But, but in esports, there's no reason why a CEO should not spend time with their players. It's, it, it, it is mind-blowing to me that that's even a thing. Um, more importantly, I think that when you're all in the same boat and when you are all working towards a common goal, it makes it a little bit more uh, more easy to work with. You know, when, when I know who you are as a person, when I know what your goals are, when I know what your aspirations are, 
And you know what, what I am about? I think that we both care a little bit more about each other as people, and as such, we build a better brand. And, uh, and that's, that's, that was my approach. I, I met uh, Matt Rodriguez, awesome last name, um, and then the rest of the players. You know, and, and, uh, and, and I got to know them a little bit, we got to hang out, we even went up to, to one of their rooms, uh, I asked them about their living situation, whether or not they were having a good time. And uh, right now they're in a little bit of an off season. The year one league is gonna be played out of the Burbank Studios, which is, and we didn't get a chance to see it, I've seen pictures, and it is amazing. It is incredible how good of a job they did in creating this, uh, this studio. So year one is gonna be played out, out of the Burbank Studio, and then year two, everybody's gonna go to their respective cities. In our case, it's gonna be Houston, um, where we're gonna have our own studio, and you better believe that I'm gonna have like all creative and design input as we create that. Just this whole process, before I go on, on anything else, I'm gonna go on one last tangent, okay? So the, just, you guys know the basics. You know, preseason starts in December. Uh, the first year is gonna be out of Burbank, and then the next year is we're gonna move into our own studios in, in Houston. But, you know, during this whole process, I, I've been, I've been so engaged in it because I am, I, am, I am ready to be challenged and to try to do and recreate something that, we, that we've done in the past. Um, and, and I know that the green wall is gonna, is, is, is gonna be super hype about the season that's upcoming, uh, simply because we are gonna give you a story to follow. You know, everything's gonna happen the same. Nothing is changing. Uh, if, if anything, we have more of an aggregate to the story that we're gonna be able to tell on two different channels. Even the name though, right? When, when Jay and I were talking about like the different names that, you know, different options that we had, I think one of them was, was Nova, uh, was one of them. And I was like, I'm like, I don't, you know, they, they, again, it didn't connect with me, right? And then we're like, uh, what about, uh, Jay wanted to do hype. Um, and, I, and I thought it was pretty cool, hype. Uh, but not cool, like not cool, and it didn't touch me. It didn't didn't spark my imaginations. And then and then when when we said outlaws, immediately I'm like, all right, capital O, capital T, and then everything else lowercase that matches. And then when we saw the logo, I was I was legit, boys, and I mean this, and girls, whoever's watching, I mean this. I felt vested. I felt challenged. I felt compelled to make something happen. And you better believe that I'm gonna make something with the help of good people, with the help of the already established brand, I think that we're gonna have something really, really cool in our hands. So, I don't think I have anything else to say, but see you guys later. Tell me, tell me this isn't cool.